So how do you upload videos to Vimeo um, via Dropbox? There's many reasons you would do this. Um, one of the ones being if you're collaborating, you could use a Dropbox for somebody to do your intros, outros and stuff, give you a complete video, and you don't have to download it to your computer to upload it to the net. When it's already in Dropbox on the web, it's extremely fast between Vimeo and Dropbox. And, uh, as such, instead of it taking a few hours if you've got a slow connection, for example, it just takes seconds. In the same way, if you've got all your videos on your phone and you just want to upload them, once they hit Dropbox and go onto the internet, you can quite simply just send them across to your Vimeo account. As such, it saves so much time. But also, if you've got poor internet or no internet at home, uh, well, poor internet, because you wouldn't be able to do this if you had no internet at all. Um, while you're out and about, shopping at friends' houses and stuff, it's constantly uploading. So it's uploading your stuff all day long. So there's a couple of reasons of why people do this. So how do you do it? Well, let's have a look. So here we have, this is Vimeo. So we want to go over here to our account settings. And over to apps. And you'll see on here we have Dropbox. You just connect it and we want to go to the auto upload settings. Cause well, I want to actually show you it inside there. So as you can see, this is our files and video upload should have a video for us. There we go. So there's a test file. So I click on that one. Is it going to upload it? See, it's auto uploading from video upload. So it's doing it already. Now, one of the reasons you would do this is to utilize using um, Dropbox as your auto backup system. Um, but also, because once Dropbox is in the, got your files up to the internet and connects to Vimeo, it's much faster then you re-uploading from your Dropbox or desktop or phone to the internet. Um, and I like, like I said, I like Dropbox because you can leave it uploading all day long because you can just leave it switched on to say upload when you get a Wi-Fi connection, which is basically any Wi-Fi connection. It doesn't mean it's got to upload it right now. It's You can like upload 10% go to the local cafe and be sat in the cafe having a nice cup of tea and then it uploads another 15 percent you go to your local big supermarket some of these have wi-fi i mean here in spain car four has wi-fi in the store it can upload as you're walking around getting your shopping so by the time you get home you've actually got your files in dropbox on the internet to transfer directly from dropbox to vimeo saving a lot of bandwidth all right thanks for watching